Today is Thursday, August the 11th, 2022. As a quick recap, I have challenged myself to trade my $100,000 options account up to $200,000 using only beginner level option strategies. Those two strategies being sell and cash secured puts and covered calls. I think that I can double the account within three years and I'm documenting the whole process, every trade and showing my real P&L statement here in this series of videos. In the last video, I had taken a short position in Dish Networks, and I said that when it only had a few pennies left uh, in it, I would close out the position and move on to something else, and that indeed is what happened today. So let's take a look at my uh, transactions, and these transactions require a little bit of explaining. So first of all, the first transaction of the day was to buy to close, my short position in Dish Networks at a penny. That was successful. However, this uh, one transaction doesn't really tell the whole story. So I originally put in the order at a limit price of a penny and the order just sat there on the exchange not being filled. So I decided, well, I'm willing to accept closing this out at two cents. So I changed the order from a limit price of one cent to two cents the order still sat on the exchange not being filled, which was very surprising. For some reason, I decided to flip the order back to a penny. And again, the order sat on the exchange not being filled. I flipped it back to two cents. This went back and forth several times for a period of about 10 minutes. But finally, I changed it from two cents to one cent, one cent and the order got filled. Why it took 10 minutes to get filled? At a penny, I have no idea, but all things considered, I'm glad it did because I'd rather be filled at a penny uh, than two cents. Had I been filled at two cents, I would have left about $132 on the table, but as you can see here, I only left $66 on the table by getting out at a penny. I then uh, flipped over to the Born to Sell website where I'm generating ideas for new positions that I can get into, and I did that and the trade that came to my attention was in the ticker CF. My intention was to sell 11 CF 100 strike puts at 38 cents. It turns out that's not what I did. This was a blunder on my part that you can see. I actually ended up buying puts at 38 cents instead of selling puts at 38 cents. Without a doubt, that was a rookie level mistake, but mistakes can happen. Once I realized the mistake, I tried to close out of the position just as fast as I possibly could. It took a few minutes to do so, and I was able to sell the puts that I had bought at 38 cents for 33 cents. Now, this is not the way to make money in the market. You don't buy high and sell low to make money. Anyway, I just wanted to get out of the position so I could establish the position that I really wanted to be in, which was a short position in the 100 CF puts. So I was able to finally sell 11 100 strike puts at 32 cents. Now notice that the expiry on these options is tomorrow, Friday, August the 12th. Normally on a Thursday like today, I would actually be trying to get into a completely different position a position that would be for the following expiry cycle, not the same expiry cycle, but I decided to try to squeeze out just the last bit of premium that I possibly could by taking on this position. So the concept of the trade is that the CF goes X dividend tomorrow. So the thinking is that the stock should be relatively buoyant. And because the puts expire tomorrow, as long as CF stays above 100 by the end of business tomorrow, I should actually be able to just walk away from this trade having collected this 32 cents in premium and move on to something else for next week. All right, now I hope that works out. It may not. If I have to manage the trade tomorrow, I'll come back and make an update video to say what's going on. But if all goes well, I will be able to just collect this 32 cents and, and move on. Now, I thought to I'd show here 
my cash balance. So this is my position statement. So it does show that I do have this uh, short position in 11 CF puts. And my cash balance has been boosted up from 111, uh, to $111,051. All right, um, I thought just for fun, I would kind of randomly throw a wild card in here. So I decided to give away an Amazon e-gift card for use on Amazon's US site uh, for $25. So if you have reached the end of this video and you are the first person to send me a text message to 512-309-5480 with your email address, I will send you a $25 Amazon e-gift card. So this Amazon e-gift card will be delivered by email to whatever email address you mention in the text message that you send. Only the first person that texts me at that number is going to get a gift card, but it will be for $25. It will be uh, a card that you can use at Amazon.com, not their Canadian site or their European site, only their main USA website. And uh, you'll be able to use that as you wish. So hopefully you will be the first person to send me a text message. Once again, the number is 512-309-5480 and you must include your email address so that I will know where to send it to. So hope to hear from you soon.